the Canary Corps. Um, so, we, we discussed here this kind of back and forth that was happening between the king and the colonists, largely as a result of the cost of the Seven Years' War um, and the increased taxes that the French or the British wanted to put on the colonists. The colonists didn't want to be told what to do. Um, and eventually, the, the British sent troops that fighting breaks out. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on the actual fighting of, of the war between the two, but what I really want to focus on is um, what happens next. Okay, so after the fighting breaks out, about a year later, a guy named Thomas Jefferson writes this Declaration of Independence. And in the Declaration, and specifically in the preamble to the Declaration, he includes some ideas. Some ideas that sound a lot like the English Bill of Rights, a lot like John Locke, a lot like Enlightenment ideas um, during this period in Europe, really in France mostly, but, but um, all throughout Europe we're seeing that people were getting together and, and discussing what they thought a perfect government would look like. This period is called the Enlightenment. And the Americans bring these ideas into this new government that, that they're trying to put together. Um, that all people are endowed by their creator with, with certain inalienable rights, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. Um, <clears throat> and the colonists then start meeting together in Philadelphia where they're eventually going to draft um, a constitution or, or at first what's the Articles of Confederation, but then what, get, what turns into um, <clears throat> the constitution. So we now have uh, the colonists coming together and, and discussing, well, you know, fighting a war with the English and discussing how sh they should set up this new government that they're going to create based on these enlightenment ideas. You know, we do have the oldest lasting constitution in the world. Um, and, and, and all the other countries that used Enlightenment ideas, including England, Austria, Prussia. Um, <clears throat> ours is the longest lasting constitution that sticks, that, that government isn't, isn't destroyed, who, who um, are able to keep these ideas going for the last 200 years. Um, and this is the beginning of that period. This is the why and the how our government started. On Tuesday, we'll, we'll discuss um, 